Hello, my people. Stuart Smith, Stuart Designs. We are in the studio working on some skulls, or actually stewie heads, uh, creepy stewie heads, for uh, Seba's Nightmare here in Michigan. One day event, he puts on an awesome show. So he's asked for 10 of these. So we have a variety here. We have eight molds and probably gonna throw a couple extra in there for them. But uh, we just put the mold release in. Now, mold release is, let's see now, let me show that to you guys. Okay, it is man mold release 2831. It is a brushable release. They do come in spray, but the spray I have found does not do a good enough job. And on top of it, it likes to blow back up in your face. So unless you're wearing top gear and stuff, you'll be sucking on wax and in an aerosol form, and that's not fun. And uh, we also have Foma 10, so A and B. Now that's a 50-50 mixture by volume, but volume really means you're gonna add in just a little bit more A than the B because the B is quite a bit heavier than the A to get the good mixture. So we're gonna get this going and uh, start pouring up here soon. So let's just get this thing hopping. All right, people, just wanna show this to you real quick. You want to cover it really good and especially in areas where it's tight down by the teeth the nose um, we have pretty good nostrils uh, here you just want to make sure that, that pull out when, when the hard palm is in there the mold release does two things it protects the mold from heat from the foam which is quite significant don't get it on yet and it helps to obviously remove. So what we like to do is after we're done with these, we like to hit them with a spray gray primer. And before any paint gets put on, if you want to, you can also wash them up with nature alcohol, uh, the positives to take care of any of the bone release. So now we have things all ready to go. So let's get into that process. We're going to pour up our first skulls. So, I have poured up the A and the B. Do we're going to pour the A into the B. Try to get as much in there as possible. And then we're going to really stir it well okay you want to make sure that you get them both blended really good or else you'll have air pockets and it won't set up properly so what I like to do is really beat it good sometimes because this is almost a waterborne foam you can dip your popsicle stick into water just have that moisture on it it'll actually help it to expand a little bit more uh, without actually breaking down the cell structure. So this is foam at 10. So this is 10 pounds per square inch per square foot. And it really is a nice hard uh, object when we're done. So we're gonna just clean that off. Again, wear gloves. Okay, we're gonna sit there and take this one right here. It up. So I've already allowed the mold release to dry. Okay, you don't ever want to sit there and put it in with the mold release is wet. So this is a practice and patience. You gotta make sure the mold release is dry. And so we're just gonna coat that really good. And I'm also gonna hit another one over here because there's plenty in this cup to sit there. Then, 
take this bad boy and we kind of roll it around. Try to make sure we get all the foam covering. This is self-skinning, so it'll create a really nice skin. So we're just gonna take it to the edges. Okay. And then now we just let it sit. We'll do the same thing over here on the other side. Hey guys. Yep. Been pouring. It's been several hours since I filmed last. And so we are getting ready. The beautiful thing about these two part molds we have where we have the plaster mother mold and this one is we're able to just peel it right off. So you just gently, sometimes they be a little forceful, but if you let them sit long enough, they really get hard and then boom there we go people that is a beautiful thing yes sir so again we have two different types of molds here we have the ones with the mother molds and then we have some solid ones the solid ones are a little bit harder to take off uh recently i've started doing the two-parters and that actually worked really nice uh, but you gotta make sure you, you get it in there real good. That turned out very good. Okay, now this one here, well, let's do these ones. Okay, take that off. Oh yeah. Mommy never bought him braces. And so we had that one. Here's another one with a mother mold. That one just came right out. <laughs> oh! It's... There we go. Tongue coming out and stuff. Yeah, you can get some of the splacking and stuff, but that's easily removed boys up a lot of times we prime them before we send them to the customer but the customers requested no no paint so boom part skull regular teeth worked out really nice so there we go people set ready to be shipped so all different types of different stewies creepy stewies worked out really nice we're gonna let these set overnight uh you never want to just ship them out you can hear the popping as the foam is still setting they were good enough to pull but then you just let them sit even when you do them at home and you want to paint them i suggest you give them a day to just Make sure all the cell structure will solidify and then get ready for paint. Um, sometimes we also have to be careful because if you make a mistake and you pour them up uh, with the wrong ratios in the middle of the night, they will turn into, well, they'll kind of shrink and do naughty things. So that's why you always wait to make sure everything's kosher. Hey, people, thanks a lot for watching. Hey, you have any questions or concerns? Please give me a holler. Uh, leave some comments, any suggestions. And, uh, hey, we'll be sitting there doing some canvases for Stephen's Nightmare. Start on those tomorrow. But these are done for right now. So hopefully, cross your fingers, they will all set up and be ready to go in the morning. Ship them out on Monday. Y'all take care.